AI algorithm uh, consumes a large amounts of personal and financial uh, data to make predictions and decisions. It can identify patterns, anomalies, or trends that can be used to uh, detect potential threats or develop uh, new financial solutions. Hello, you're watching Tea Time Tuesday. I'm Rashan Gidwani. From managing finances to making smart investments, our financial activities have evolved alongside us. Now, as technology rapidly advances, AI is emerging as a key player in the world of finance. But what does this mean for the financial landscape of tomorrow? Joining me to discuss this in greater detail today is Dillis Cheng, CEO of Zora Exchange. Hi, Dillis. Welcome to the program. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's so good to have you here. Now, Dillis, my first question is, how do you envision AI contributing to the evolving finance industry? Personally, I believe that AI uh, will transfer the future of finance through four main areas. The first is improved decision making. Second is uh, innovation and product development. And third is improve risk management. And the fourth is, I think, is regulatory compliance and fraud detection. AI algorithms have the ability to analyze large amounts of data. It can identify patterns, anomalies, or trends that can be used to detect potential threats or develop new financial solutions. For example, the new insurance products or investment strategies or the risk management tools. So now financial institutions can make highly informed decisions to improve their efficiency and uh, comply with the uh, regulations. On the other hand, I think the main impact on society it will have is that large groups of people had little to no access toward the financial services can now enjoy them. I think AI can make finance more uh, inclusive by aiding uh, development of the efficient credit scoring, alternative lending models, or even the personalized financial advice. So AI is definitely making processes more convenient. But what are some ethical concerns then that arise when AI is used in finance and how can these be addressed and managed? There are many ethical uh, concerns when using AI in finance. Uh, but I'll talk about three concerns, which are privacy, transparency, and unemployment. For data privacy, AI algorithm consumes large amounts of personal and financial data to make predictions and decisions. So collecting, storing, and how this data is used surely raise concerns about privacy and also whether it is misused. In the other hand, transparency, the average person have no idea, don't understand the logic behind the decision AI, by, um, AI made because it is so complex. Maybe consumers could be victims to unfair lending practices. For example, discriminatory pricing as they don't know if the algorithm is using biased data. The one you hear most is workforce replacement and unemployment caused by automation. But I think the thought must to be given to equip them with new skills so that they can adapt the changing job markets. Would you suggest any implications of using AI-powered robo-advisors to make investment recommendations for individuals? A robo-advisor is going to be a great tool to uh, financial recommendations. But I want to remind that is when more and more people come in this market, I mean, so try to start to or take the advice from the robo-advisors. The condition in the market changes as well. 
So I would suggest that individuals consider all the limitations of robot devices and then think hard on how to make decision flexibly. Now, before we wrap up, Dillis, any parting advice for embracing the opportunities of AI-powered finance? I think everyone, not only for young people, just try to work or live with AI, not only for robot devices, because it's gonna be a lifestyle of work or live with the AI in the future world. Great. Dillis, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. We'll chat again soon. Thank you. AI presents both opportunities and challenges, requiring a careful balance between automation and human oversight. By understanding its implications and staying informed, we can navigate the evolving finance landscape with confidence. Stay tuned for our next episode, which will feature more insights and analysis. I'm Roshan Gidwani, and you've been watching Tea Time Tuesday. Please like and subscribe for more. See you again.